Hey everyone, Alex coming at you with another video. Today is actually going to be my response video to all the drama that has recently started um, surrounding Nerf Man's video. And I just wanted to say that I feel like this is becoming a tradition. You know, honestly, it always feels like around the time of summer, there's always some sort of conflict or some form of controversy. And I honestly think it's the summer heat because whenever people are out of school, they don't have much to do. So they just decide to create a lot of problems. I think the first instance of this Godzilla drama, while very minor, was still relevant at that time period. And I'm not sure if too many people even remember this, but this was back in 2015, in my opinion, when all this drama started. And it didn't really involve Lewis, but it definitely involved Kaijil 621. And it was when Space Wing and Kaijil 621 had a lot of drama surrounding the fan film that Kaijil 621 was making Godzilla versus question mark, question mark. And then the monster turned out to be Jiger. So that's where I feel like it really started. But the way how it escalated in 2016 with the whole Lewis versus Kajzilla argument was really bad. And now we have another version of that this year. And it feels like this is becoming a tradition. So I just wanted to talk about Lewis real quick. I have known Lewis for a really long time. Godzilla stated in Lewis Duran's video that no one knows Lewis quite like he does. And while I do admit that I probably don't know Lewis as much as he does, I have had I have known him for a really long time. I knew him back when he was still asking for 170 subscribers on my channel, and that's honestly how um, small he was in terms of how I knew him. And Lewis honestly just kind of exponentially jumped right way past me, honestly, and a bunch of his other friends in terms of Goodzone Goji Franklin. He's right all above them and such. So I have known Louis Duran for a really long time, but honestly, I have been trying to abdicate the fact that Louis Duran was a pretty negative person since late last year. The thing is about last year is that Louis Duran upright insulted me and he got Hedor the douchebag aka Dillo Fellow to attack me as well. And honestly, I had been a person that supported Louis for years. Back when Louis Duran was still making Godzilla Rise for Destruction, I had done so many videos on Godzilla Rise for Destruction. Honestly, I had a reaction video, I had reviews, I was just honestly trying to be a supportive friend to Louis Duran back in 2015 and 2016. Even when um, all the drama was still starting, I still gave Louis Duran's fan films um, fair reviews. You know, I didn't insult Louis, I did state what I didn't like, and people thought my reviews were pretty fair. Yet here, Louis completely disregarded that fact back in 2016 and just completely forgot about me as a person. I mean, I'm not sure if this even counted, but for a little while of time, Louis actually invited me in his inner circle where I would actually be in late night hangouts with people like Goji Franklin, Godzilla, Paco, and Simon and such so honestly i don't know what happened to lewis duran and that was back in december 2016 that i thought that lewis really changed as an individual and i felt like i didn't know him to be honest as an individual and a person so now when i really think about that when it comes to lewis duran and i'm honestly not surprised of anything that he would do the first thing that i just wanted to say is that i'm really surprised that lewis duran hasn't blocked me on instagram or anything like that but honestly i'm pretty sure after this video goes up he is going to most likely block me on instagram and i'm not going to be surprised about that because that's the thing about Lewis. He always tries to run away, run away from his problems. He doesn't try to deal with them. He doesn't try to comment or message people directly. He just blocks them so he doesn't have to deal with these people. And a lot of the people that he has blocked recently, such as Super Mario Zell and Kill Switch, were some of his honest friends back in 2014, just like me as well. So if Lewis Rand's gonna block me or do anything like that and such, I just want to say that I at least saw it coming because that's the Lewis that I think has emerged after 2016. And as a matter of fact, speaking of Lewis from 2016, I haven't even talked or messaged Lewis since 2016. I just sent a message to Lewis putting greetings and salutations, you know. I was just thinking, you know, I'm just going to message Lewis to see what happened. He still hasn't responded after all these days. And honestly, I just, I don't know why Lewis hasn't responded. I mean, all I did was just put greetings and salutations. I didn't put, Lewis, you should go die. Uh, you should get hit by a car. I didn't put anything like that. I just, I was just trying to see what, if Lewis would even respond. And honestly, I think Lewis Duran is distant distancing himself from everyone at this point because honestly at this point I haven't done anything and let me just go a bit more in depth in terms of the relation between Lewis and I um, after 2016 honestly after 2016 there were so many people against me there was a rally of people against me you had kill switch super mario zilla ryan zeton um kaiji kobe you had so, so many ludicrous people that were against me for that rant video 
but now they're all on my side. You know, recently I got Ryan Zeton to message me a while back and he actually stated that he regrets not being on my side. Super Mario Zill even acknowledged that Louis Duran is a changed person and even he acknowledges that he was on the wrong side. And then you have um, Kill Switch, who was also acknowledging that he should have been on my side. Honestly, I'm surprised that all these people are barely starting to notice what kind of person Lewis is, because I have been trying to abdicate this since early 2016 and such, back when the whole controversy started in 2016 and ended in late 2016. The thing is, is that people are barely starting to realize this, and only now are they realizing that I was the person that was correct in this. I still haven't received any sort of apology or acknowledgement from Lewis Duran about his actions. And honestly, I'm not that affected by them, but it's the fact that Lewis Duran does acknowledge them. But even just the, the fact that he said Lewis hacked my account, that literally is clickbait because Lewis did not hack your account. It was someone else who is related to Lewis. I'm sorry, it is clickbait. And you know, what would be the point of making a clickbait title like that? So first of all, Lewis in his response video, he mentions that the video is not supposed to be clickbait. Well, first of all, you added more clickbait than Nerf Man did in this video. I mean, even part of the title says gone sexual. It's just like, what? Even Nerf Man didn't have this. I mean, what what is that supposed to mean? That's only if you're doing one of those prank videos. And this video isn't even a prank video. It's supposed to be serious. So when you put that title there, it's very misleading and therefore makes you look like a hypocrite because you said that Nerf Man's video was clickbait, even though you're adding clickbait just like Nerf Man, which is something that you honestly criticize Nerf Man for. And you know, what would be the point of making a clickbait title? <laughs> So Louis Duran goes on to state in the video that his girlfriend um, pretty much reported it. You're still technically responsible for doing this, Louis. You're still a part of this. Don't try to separate yourself out of this entire incident. Because the first thing that I wanted to mention is that Louis Duran explicitly states in the video that he told his girlfriend, who then told her mother. That's the thing, Louis. You technically spread it out because you were the one who directly told your girlfriend. If you didn't tell your girlfriend, this would have never happened. Therefore, you are technically responsible for it. It's like if you're trying to hire someone to kill someone. The person who hired that individual is still responsible because they hired the person to do it. That's technically the position that Louis is in. He's pretty much the person that would hire someone to do something. And Louis Duran is still technically responsible in that sense. So that's why Louis Duran is included in the video. Plus, I don't know if th I don't know if this is true, but Lewis's girlfriend doesn't really have a YouTube channel. And honestly, when it comes down to Lewis, Lewis's girlfriend not having a YouTube channel, it's really hard to address Lewis's girlfriend because she doesn't really have a channel. And I'm not even sure what her name really is. I kind of forgot, to be honest. I mean, no offense. But honestly, that's the reason why Lewis is in the video because he technically spread it out further. Also, just to talk about Lewis's girlfriend, I'm not sure if these snapshots are still available, and I don't think I have them anymore because Lewis's girlfriend deleted these comments. But back on my rant video, Lewis Duran's girlfriend started attacking me verbally in terms of the comment section and just started putting a lot of miscellaneous, random, insulting comments in direction towards me. I even tried to get on good relations with this person, but then when when I found out that that was Lewis's girlfriend, I realized that these Lewis and her girlfriend are obviously the most manipulative people I've ever seen. They are able to get so many people on their side, but now these people are starting to realize, thanks to Nerf Man's video, that Lewis Durant is a threat to the Godzilla community in terms of not actually being an honest and sincere person. Alright, so I also wanted to mention that in this entire video, there's so much profanity. Goji Franklin and Godzilla talk about, well, Godzilla not really included in this because honestly, Godzilla didn't really curse. You know, I'm just going to say that right there. Out of all the people in this video, I would say that Godzilla seems like the most sincere. He seems more sincere than Louis Duran, that's for sure. The reason why I say Godzilla is probably like the star of this all is because Godzilla he brings up the other people. He brings up um, bigger Godzilla fans that had drama four years ago, such as Deadzilla and Goji73. He brings up those people, and he talks about how he knows Lewis for a really long time. So honestly, Godzilla is the most sincere person in this video. And Kaijuzilla has no right to talk in this situation at all. He, he's just in there because he hates the guts out. He's been having an ego over me since like last year. Well, Lewis Duran, you're obviously looking like a hypocrite right here because you got all your other little friends involved in this video who probably had nothing to do with this. The only people that I could really see having a right to be involved in this is Louis Duran and Goji Franklin. Louis Duran is actually the target of this, and Goji Franklin was actually somewhat in the video in terms of the Instagram response 
that he, that they made in terms of Nerf Man's video. So when I really look at all these other people like Nathan Miller films and Super Godzilla and Goodzilla, these people shouldn't even be involved because the video wasn't even in direction towards them. So honestly, Lewis, if you're getting angry at Nerf Man bringing D-Man and Kaizilla 621 in his video, then how come we shouldn't have the right to get angry at you bringing all these other miscellaneous people into this whole situation? See, that's the thing, Lewis. You criticize Nerf Man for including clickbait and for including people that shouldn't even be involved in this, yet you add your own clickbait and you bring other people that aren't even involved as well. You're pretty much doing the same thing as Nerf Man and you're even trying to go for that similar style just like Nerf Man. So I don't even know why you're criticizing the video. In reality, you should be trying to criticize his point, not the style of the video. You even called the video um, that it had crappy VHS effects. Honestly, I don't know why you're criticizing the video. You may think the video's bad, but it's not about whether or not the video's bad or good. It's about how well it presented a certain point or an argument. All right, so another thing that I wanted to mention to add further on to my argument of people that shouldn't be involved, a lot of the people that are in Louis Duran's video are just pretty much like they're reading off of a script. For example, you have Super Godzilla. He has to read off of something from somewhere. I'm not sure if it's his laptop or a paper, but obviously this whole thing was entirely scripted. And by scripted, I mean it's so obvious that it was scripted. A lot of the people in this video, such as um, I believe Nathan Miller and Godzilla, they um Godzilla says things like he doesn't know the full details of the of the argument, and Nathan Miller says he's not entirely sure or he doesn't understand. I don't know the full details of what happened, but I'm pretty sure... So, what I'm not entirely sure, the theme of, of the little attack on Lewis video, um... I don't entirely understand. So when you really consider this, a lot of Lewis's people in the video don't even know what's going on. They're just saying random things to attack Nerf Man and his buddies. And honestly, I find that to be so hypocritical because again, the whole argument is that Goji Franklin says, Kaizilla, who do you think you are? Well, who do you people think you are? You guys don't even know what's going on. You don't even know the full details of what's going on. So why are you in this video? Alright, the second thing that I wanted to state is that you guys are again tacking the video, calling it stupid, when obviously that has nothing to do with everything in the video. And then Nathan Miller brings up the argument of not meeting others face to face. I don't know what that has to do with it. That's honestly a weak argument. And I think when you bring up the face to face argument, that's obviously you just playing the victim card, trying to make you look sincere and such. And Nathan Miller once again states that Nate Nerf Man is below everyone. You are trying to put yourself in a situation where you're better than everyone else, when really you're below. Even though he has more subscribers than you, Nathan Miller, I don't know who you are to talk. Honestly, no offense, Nathan Miller and Super Godzilla, but honestly, before this video came out, I had no clue where you guys were. And I'm pretty sure you guys had no idea who I was, which is pretty mutual in terms of people not knowing each other. But I just wanted to say that from what I've seen from your channels, Nerf Man has obviously has more subscribers than you. So he's obviously above both of you and pretty much 90 other 90% 90 of the other people in this video besides Lewis himself, of course. Um, the other thing that I want to say is that Super Godzilla, he's honestly trying to be funny, you know? In the video, you see him rub his hands like he's some sort of villainous mastermind. Even Louis Duran acknowledges this. He puts, stop wiping your hands, you dweeb. I mean, seriously, why does he do this? Is he nervous? You could definitely tell the emotions running through when the people that are attacking Nerf Man are pretty much shaking in their boots. Even um, Super Godzilla says, can you get into Louis's boots or shoes for one second? I mean, that's honestly hilarious because these people are so nervous. Nervous, you know of this entire video. They're honestly scared. You know, that's why they're rubbing their hands It's a sign of anxiety right there Um, let's see and then the other part of the video was Super Godzilla in it He also goes off topic to talk about um, the Jaguar and which was in a completely different video about G Fest Which is honestly just a joke video. It's completely a joke and honestly, I don't know why they even brought it up because that video has nothing to do with the whole Louis Duran argument. That was just something completely miscellaneous that honestly took up a lot of time. And then when I look at Goji Franklin, he tries to be too funny. He's like, oh, that's a, that's a lot of fish, you know? And he tries to be so funny by saying, I bet you don't even have a girlfriend. And then they play the stupid Roblox sound effect. It's like, Goji Franklin, stop trying to be so funny. You say that Nerf Man and his friends look unprofessional, but honestly, your way of speaking is unprofessional as well. Now that's a lot of fish. You're not some elite movie director, dude, daddy. Would you, in return, want Lewis to do that to your girlfriend, if you have one? <laughs> That's funny. Um, 
or your mom or your dad. So the second thing I also want to say is that Goji Franco even acknowledges that he likes Mushino. He's so confused over the fact of why Mushino was delayed, but the reason why was because Louis intervening in this whole situation took pretty much took Nerf Man away from the internet for several weeks. So when you really consider that, that's why Nerf Man wasn't able to get the lines done, thus um, halting Mushino. And you're probably like, well, that's just one role. But you gotta take in mind that Nerf Man was pretty much playing the villain who was pretty much gets the second most lines out of any other character in Mushino from what I've seen from the fan film. So really take that into consideration, Louis Duran is a good and a legitimate reason about why the fan film was halted. And again, people mention the whole argument that Louis isn't from Canada, but Nerf Man is from Canada, so that's the reason why they brought that up, and now it's just something that I wanted to bring up. And honestly, um, another person who had a very, very minor part, his audio quality was horrible! But this person's name was pretty much um, Spawn Jr., I believe. And he says that these people are trying to paint Lewis in the villain of a villain. But honestly, that is the reason why. Because Lewis Duran is a villain. Just look at all the things he's done. He's attacked one of his friends, which was... I'm, I'm not even sure if you could even consider me a friend of Lewis at this point. But he's attacked me for absolutely no reason. He's removed people like Killswitch and Super Marizilla from the production of his fan film. And honestly, Louis Duran has blocked a tons of people on Instagram rather than trying to get the issue resolved with them and try to become friends. That's the thing about Louis. Once you turn on him, he doesn't want to be your friend anymore. And that's something that I honestly can't tolerate about. Because say, for example, you just say one bad thing about Louis and Louis Duran instantly hates you or blocks you. And then that's the thing. A lot of people are saying um, Nerf Man should grow the F up. I mean, honestly, you guys are making, you guys are getting angry over such minor things in the video. First of all, you guys say that Nerf Man's video is unprofessional, and then you guys talk about the memes that Nerf Man made. First of all, Nerf Man didn't make those memes, he just included them in the video. But you guys are getting angry about these little jokes that were in the video. And then when I watch you guys talk, you guys use so much immature words, terrible jokes as well, and you guys use so much profanity. I mean, honestly, I understand that you're trying to get a strong point across, but using profanity actually weakens your cause. It actually makes you like look like a bunch of immature people. It makes you look like you're illiterate and such. Are you that fucking ignorant? Are you fucking kidding me? And I think the what really takes the cake for me is Lewis at the very end of the video. Lewis Duran pretty much just gets angry. He, I mean, honestly, Lewis at the beginning of the video, he seemed relatively calm. He was obviously anxious and agitated and angry, but he managed to keep a calm expression during the first part of the video. But then at the second part of the video, he instantly just turns immature and unprofessional. He says things are you effing ignorant? And even some other people within the video called, um, you know, some people cowards and such. And he also says, are you effing kidding me? And he calls nerve men a selfish, you know, B word. And he says, you need to get your SH together. And honestly, I don't want to say these curse words. But anyway, I just wanted to say real quick that I honestly think this entire video was hypocritical. Um, if you think, I, um, just real quick, I haven't seen any other argument videos to this. After I finish editing this video, I want to see D-Man's response video, because I'm pretty sure that D-Man has a much better response video than this, but this was just something that I wanted to get out, and honestly, I'm so glad that I did. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. And I like good trees Smoke so much weed She whoopin' the lead And I get more ass Than a toilet seat Three to the one To the one to the three I met a bad bitch Last night in the deep Let me tell you how I'm gonna leave with me Conversation and Hennessy Ah uh, yes Nerf man I'm not dating him So heck off